Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with another installment for the June Just 15 Junk Journal Challenge. Today we're actually going to do one of the elements. We're going to do the add-in border tuck flip with insert. Now I have redone my paper situation because of the video yesterday and being able to add digitals to my graph paper so my digital kit took over the graph paper so my journal is all taken apart again so but anyway I'm going to use one of the papers that came from the book that I used to for there's my cover so far and so we are going to go ahead and I'm going to use one of these and then I thought, remember I said that I thought that this would make a really pretty like border thing. Well, I'm going to use this for my border tuck. And so um, we're calling it a add in border tuck flip with insert. Okay, so I am going to want that side to be about that long, like for a... And the other side is white okay so the other side is white so I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it at my my fold place so folding at my fold place okay so for a tuck I like there to be about an inch and, and, and an inch and, and a half, an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters. And so I'm gonna go ahead and mark it there. And so that's gonna be the border tuck for the other side. Now I still have this that I'll be able to use. Okay, so we need to measure this. Cut that and we'll save that okay so so I have what do I how much do I have on this side I have three and seven eighths and I have one and three quarters okay so that is my measurements on the two sides and then I have measured it to fit my paper and I'm going to go ahead and this is going to go on like this. So it's just going to come in and butt up against the edge. It's going to give us some beautiful color on that side. And on this side, we will get a border tuck. Okay, so border tuck being the, it's a tuck and it's on the border. And we'll be able to put something in it. So one of the, the parts of this one is you do also have to make your insert. So I like to put my glue directly on the, um, the tuck side of the paper. The actual border tuck side. There we go. And we're going to just bring that over and lay that down and then make sure that my page is all the way up in it. Okay and we'll hold it and let it dry. The really cool thing is here we still will have this area that we can write, which is um, I think really, really cool. And then we'll have this area that we can possibly add in some more, some other paper or something. But I think that this I just think these are a really pretty addition to a journal. And so for our insert, we have these postcards that I um, printed using the, the new Garden uh, Veggie and Fruit Digi Kit from Dear Julie Julie. And it is available in the Etsy shop. If you finished your April challenge journal on time, this is the kit that you're getting in the VIP so you don't need to go purchase this but all the digitals are, are on sale for 50% off 
in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. There we go. Okay, so I think that that looks really, really great there. Um, it, as an insert, I think we might want to add something else to this. Hmm. Here's one. Okay, so let's go ahead and we could go ahead and fold one of these in half. Okay, let's go ahead and cut that off. Clean it up, cut it off. Okay, so I'm just cutting it down here. Just cutting off that riggedy edge. And I think we'll turn this into a flip-flop, which you saw, saw me do that on a tag the other day. So we're going to go ahead and open it and see if it's... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get a little gutter. And you just line up your edges and that should give you a straight line for your gutter. We're going to add some glue to our gutter. We're going to fold it back so we're page on page there and add glue down this little spine. Oh. It had something stuck. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and lay this down. Okay, but that gives us that I like it. Okay. And then. So I did take from the pages of the journal from, <laughs> from the wrapping paper. And I went ahead and I fussy cut a bunch of images out of one of the small pieces. So we can go ahead and see if we can find something in here that we want to add. Um, anyway, I was thinking about like a tab. Uh, it would be kind of cool to have for this. You know, what if we, yeah, what if we took a piece of this and we rolled it over it's interesting only being able to use your 15 items, isn't it? Ah! And especially since my 15 item and items are way over there. So if I go ahead and put these together, they can share their glue and take it apart. Put that one down. Okay. And then put this one on top of it. And make our own homemade tab. Okay. So we made our own homemade tab for our little cucumber. cucumber card okay it has place to write on it which is awesome so remember for part of my 15 I also have this lace I have this set of stickers that I picked and I have a crossword puzzle book the sticker there we go okay I'm gonna probably have to switch out my crossword puzzle book because look I I don't know where the where the little answer page is 
So I'm going to have to find, if I don't find the answer page part, then I'll be switching out my crossword puzzle book. So that's that was my disappointment there, was there was no answer page. <laughs> okay, but I think I really like the way that this is turning out. So we'll have this. We have space to write about your cucumbers, if that's what you want to write about. And it becomes a great page for inside your journal. Now we do have these, so we can go ahead and put something on our page here. You know what, there was a peach in this the saying is about fruit over here, you guys. So. Ah, there we go. It's going there. We'll have plenty of time to dry before it gets put into the journal, so that's good. So, do you like to decorate your pages first or after? So, anyway, this... this um, Add in border tuck flip with insert. This is something, well, I used to make these a lot and then I stopped for a long time. And so it being that we haven't done this much lately, it's the first element that I'm doing so that those that didn't know what it was would have a chance to see what it was. So you can decorate this. Or you can come over and decorate on your page there. Even if I was to come in and add um, like some of one of the pages from the journal, from the digital kit and put that in there, you still could possibly see this. But this says, love is a fruit in season at all times and within the reach of every hand. Mother Teresa. So I think putting some fruit there was a great little little uh, great little thing and yeah I came back to this side again I'm like do you all do that do you go oh I think I'm done and then oh guess I wasn't done oh I kind of like that I like that what do you think I like the bunnies on it we only have 15 embellishments this time, but we do need, you know what, we need stuff for the pages. But I like that. Okay, I have more, I have more I can cut out if I need more. Real crafting. That's what you're getting today, real crafting. Okay, and I wanna still be able to use the label like it's a label. So we'll go with bunnies like that. I like it. Okay, we still have a place to write. That's our insert. This is our add-in border tuck flip with insert. So remember we cut out a page, put it in, gave ourselves a tuck and a flip. There you go. So if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Julie. I'm the CEO and queen creator here at Dear Julie Julie and Dear Julie Julie DIY. I'm really glad you've joined us today. And if you like this sort of thing, please Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when other videos are coming out. And just in case we have a schedule, we're here each day at 1030. And while we're home, safer at home, we are here at 4 o'clock each weekday. So uh, we'd love to see you. Make sure that if you are at one of the premieres that you say hello in the chat so that we can welcome you. And... Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Thanks for being here. Bye. Bye-bye.